He hears your struggles and comes to you. So I start I say he. Many say she for the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has often been at the forefront of uh, feminism and uh, feminist theology. Uh, something that problem. So just to say that, just throw that in, it's not my words. But love, love is important, but it's not just about loving ourselves. It's not just about loving ourselves. It's about loving others. And often it's a self-sacrificial love. I'm going to share another story with you. Um, some years back now, my wife and I said, we'd be away all the time. Because that would be the first thing to hear. But it means to be joyful in the Lord, no matter what our circumstances are. So if us, we go through hard times, still retain that joy in the Lord. Um, joy in the knowledge of this new kingdom that we're living in. And then there's peace. This is, the, this is God's peace. God is the God of peace. This is the God who. And um, dwells in a total shower and gives shalom to us as his people. And it is the spirit that binds us to God's peace. The spirit helps us to live out our lives in God's peace. And the spirit himself is an example of that peace. So this is powerful all the time. The next uh, point is for parents, which we need to be honest with probably in this patient. It's one of those words in the Bible. Um, it's more about patience. Paul actually describes forbearance as God's patience with us when he should be angry with us. Patience with human arrogance. The Holy Spirit will give you patience. Even when you feel like you're not going to last another five seconds, or you're going to snap, you're going to get angry, the Holy Spirit will help you with that. The Holy Spirit will also help you with that. Again, 